Hi everybody, this is Mike here. We're going to be working on pruning our table grapes today. One of the things I've heard from a number of people, and I used to be this way too, was that it was really intimidating to them to prune on any orchard crop and particular grapes. So I'm going to try and make this a little more approachable and a little easier uh, to handle for you guys. I'll flip the camera around, we'll just take a look at what we have to work with out here. Okay, so what our goal is out here is to take this fairly messy looking uh, jumble of uh, vines and canes, all this is from last year's growth, and get it trained down into a productive state here for us. So it should end up looking like, I'm kind of looking into the sun here, like this. I'll show that in more detail here later on. First thing I'm going to say is, uh, this is just what works for our farm. Everything I'm talking about here on this video is going to be what we've found works for us. It may not work that well on other people's farm, and every farmer is different. Everybody has a different way of doing things. They have reasons for why they're doing those things. So just because they're doing it different from us doesn't mean they're doing it wrong. That means that's what works for them. Now on our trellising and I honestly don't understand why this isn't more common up here for trellising style, at least on hand-picked grapes. I understand why you can't machine pick on this style of trellising, but this style of trellising has not been very common in this area. I really like it. What it is is it's an open gable. I always call it a V-style trellising because of the V the trellis makes. I've also heard it described as a Y style trellising because with the post on there it does look kind of like a Y as well. With this style trellising what we're doing is we're going to have two fruiting wires out here. These wires are heavier, they carry the fruiting canes up and down the row. There's one on each side. Then the canopy continues on up and lays into the other wires that are up here on the trellising. This lets us put our canopy up above the grape clusters, opens them up, allows more airflow through them, which means we have less fungal pressure on them. Now, uh, this style of pruning that I'm going to be showing you is called cane pruning. It's a little bit more difficult to do, it takes a little bit more finesse, but I feel it pr produces a better result for us. Spur pruning, you'll have arms going down your fruiting wires like this. That's the other style pruning. Only you'll leave those in place year after year after year. They'll get big, thick, like the main trunk on the plant. And you'll be leaving little fruiting spurs of two or three buds. Kind of like this here. With cane pruning, we select a new cane, one of last year's canes, and we'll train it down the wire on each side. For my table grapes, I'll be taking four canes total, two on each side, one going each direction, and training it down that fruiting wire. I'll try and leave roughly ten buds per cane. It varies some, and I've noticed I tend to have a lot of lap from one plant to the next. I'm also doing an experiment with a test plot here where I've spaced them out wider than the five feet they're on right now. I've spaced them out at seven and a half feet. This stuff would be of more interest to people doing commercial production on this than your average homeowner, home gardener. But it shows you you can contain a plant that really wants to grow, really wants to take off and go in a relatively small space. Tools that I'll be using for this are, I've got, a set of electric snips because of how much area I'm covering out here they've proven to be invaluable to me so I tend to fall back and use these they are a bit expensive and I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for a homeowner but they're an Infico electric snips there's the website on them these things work slick there's a button down here I'm just gonna push it and you'll see some lights 
come on up there, it's ready to go. Now it has a wide open position and I've set it to a shorter stop because I'll be snipping and the shorter draw it takes the faster I can go through and cut. I also have used it quite a bit when I'm not feeling like getting the electric ones out. I set a hand snips here. These ones are, let's see if I can get in there. There's the brand on them. These have been a really nice set of, of hand shears. They fit my hand really well. The safety lock on them is easy to work with your thumb. And they've been a great asset to me. But when I'm out here doing serious clipping, I like to fall back on my electric ones because anything I put in there, they will cut, including the wire. And I've unfortunately done that a time or two. I'll see if I can get this sitting here, or I can show you. They also have a nice little safety feature. Let me just pause this video for just a second here while I set it up. Okay, a nice little safety feature here where you see this gloved hand out here. I can pull the trigger all I want, they won't go. There's wiring in the glove that will shut these things down if you get your finger in there. Another nice aspect is if I touch the wire here and the snips touch it over here, they will not go. That will save you from snipping some wires, although I've still snipped some by not getting my hand up there and pruning. Now to get down to it here and see what we can do pruning wise. You'll see this mess of vines up here. First thing I'm going to do is cut out the old canes from last year. Seems like I'm cutting a lot of stuff out, but I need to cut a lot of stuff out. What I'm going for is to get down to just one good vine and a little stub with a couple of buds on it to give me another cane, another shoot for the following year. I'm going to pause this here and get the camera reset real quick. Okay, I've selected a cane here. What I will then do is wrap this down and around my fruiting wire. You may hear it crackle, it may pop a lot. That's normal. I'm going to take my tapener. You can also use just tape and tie it or string and tie it. This here again is a tool I've used because I can tie loosely and for training young plants it works slick. It'll grab onto the tape, pull it out, stretch it around, and then it'll staple as I click it down there. It makes tying these up go really quick, really efficient. I know I'm running out of battery, so that's a quick look at pruning these grapes up and tree training them.